Holy. What? How's it going guys? Just sitting on the side. Welcome to another video. I'm just looking around. I don't know if you can see I'm on the harbour tonight. <laughs> just on Sydney Harbour. Gonna flick light lures. Just gonna show you the kind of edge that I'm flicking tonight. So check that out. Not too bad, just along this edge here. Hopefully we'll get some hopefully we'll get some fish. Hopefully we'll get some brim, hopefully we'll get some flathead. Now for tonight's session I'm gonna try a grub first in water um not watermelon red. This is motor oil guys. Slightly different colour. Right guys, I'm just gonna run you through the techniques. After casting that lure, I'm just gonna flick it out there right now into the darkness. Basically you can't see anything. I can't really see anything. Um, but that's not the point. The point is you can still catch fish after casting. You know, maybe wind it once or twice, get in contact with the lure. And then, notice how I've got the rod tip slightly higher up. Um, I find that does help. This is just one, you know, one way that you can fish at night. I just give it a couple of little twitches and I wind at the same time. Well, I try to wind in between the gaps. So, every time the lure every time I twitch up and I'm twitching back down I'm winding a bit it takes a little while to get used to I don't want to be winding onto the lure too hard but I do want to keep most of that slack out of the system now that's how I managed to do it so let's go again bang 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 just a couple of little twitches several little twitches the rod's not really going like bang 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 right this is night fishing you don't really need to make that lure dart crazily off the bottom just little twitches like this and yeah another thing you can do is once you get used to watching your line you can see it vibrate when the lure hits the bottom not always but if you're keeping it under tension you can notice it when it's see right now i can tell it's on the bottom see how the slacks just come in just like that so you can feel it when it hits the bottom sometimes if you've got heavy jig heads but if you can't you can still watch the line, get visual cues from that. So right now it's still dropping down. Might be on the bottom now, but I don't know for sure. But now, see how the line's just no longer taut? It's hard to see on the camera, but it's just kind of curled up a bit. I know it's I know it's well and truly on the bottom now. And it doesn't matter if you leave it there paused for, you know, up to a minute if you want, really. So right now I've just paused it for probably like 20 to 30 seconds. Oh! Oh, that was right on. <laughs> but no dice. That wasn't a snag though. I guarantee that that was not a snag. I felt movement there. <laughs> just like that, guys. And look, just to, just to show you guys that I'm not pulling your leg. That lure's been pantsed, which means it's been pulled down onto the shank of the hook. And that's no. there's no surer sign than that. Yeah, one more thing. S factor that's the scent I'm using right now always good to always good to put some on oh on oh no I dropped it guys no too busy looking at the camera there that was on that was some serious weight too ah unlucky there would have loved to have got that with the light shining down Oh yes, that's it. That's on. Jeez. Not coming up, is it? It's not doing very much. It's just gradually going left. I don't feel any head shakes. Felt a few at the start. It's not doing anything. Um what do you guys reckon? Gee, good head shakes, good head shakes. It's got to be a good brim. Look at that, that rod. Oh, don't throw it, please. I'd like to see it. It's good. It's got to be a good fish. Jeez, look at that. Can't get it up. Holy, what? Oh my God. There's, wow. Guys, I have no idea what this is. 
my heart rate's going up. Oh my. Oh my. Yep, I'm getting real nervous now, guys. I'm getting nervous. I'm getting real nervous here. I have no idea. It's got head shakes. It's a, it's, ob it's a good fish if it's got head shakes, right? Jeez. What is that? Oh, d oh, that's not a brim, is it? Can't be a brim. That's not a brim. Please don't pop off. It's got to be tiring. Oh, heart rate. Oh. Beast of the night. Normally I hook up to a good fish during the day. And I get to see something. Oh, I just see something. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. It's coming up. It's vague. Oh, I've got to be patient. I've got to be patient here. I've got to be patient. Oh, no. Oh, lucky. Jeez, thought it popped off. Oh, I thought it popped off. It's silver. What is it? Big brim? Jeez, what's that? It's just, it's a big brim. Jeez, it's gone. It goes hard. Wow. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Oh, oh, please don't throw it. Let's bring it in. I don't know how it's managed to fight this crazy. Oh, it's a massive brim. Oh, it's big. Let me just walk it. It's just right there, guys. I didn't think it was big, but that's, that's, that's massive. That is massive. That's a massive brim. Right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. On the camera. All right, let me just get down here. It's up deep. It's up deep. Oh, my God. My God. Oh, dude, check that brim out. That's a monster. Guys, what the? That's over 40. That is easily bigger than my PB. What a brim. This is, is, oh. What? I'm, oh, I don't know what to say. Oh, guys. Oh, let me get up. <laughs> what? 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 I'm in shock. I'm in, uh, oh, I'm in shock. Th this is a lot Massive. bigger than I thought it was. No wonder it fought so hard. Holy. Look, look at that brim. Look at my hand. Look at my hand in comparison to the brim. I've got a tape. Check this brim out. That's a PB. I don't know what size it is. I know it's a massive brim. New PB, here we come. Let's bring the tape out. There she is. There she is. She's a stonker. Yes. <laughs> come on, big girl. Check that broom out guys. I don't know if it's shown properly on the video. Oh, nice. Wow. Very nice. Thank you. <laughs> Did you catch it from here? Yeah, from here. Oh wow. Very big. That's yeah, awesome. massive broom. Yeah. How long did it take? Oh, uh, it took me five minutes. Wow. Yeah, I was nervous. Yeah, I knew it was amazing. a That's big awesome. fish. Very Thanks nice. a lot. Alright guys, I've had my fun. I'm gonna hurry up and release this fish. My lure is right in there. This is what I've been using. If I can just get it out. Get that lure out. I've got a girth on that. Ah, oh, there we go, pop. Yes, yes, let's hurry, let's hurry. There's a lure, Z-Man Grubs. Bloodworm, 1 16th ounce, jig head. There she is, there's the beast. There's the brim. All right, I'm gonna take it to the water. Take it to the water. There's the water. Just put it down now. I'm just gonna hold it there. Yes, all right, it looks like it might be ready to go, but I'll just hold it a bit longer. All right, my sleeve got wet, whatever. I just wanted to live, doing everything I can. Oh, look at that worm swimming through the water next to the fish. That's, what is that? Better not be the nudie branch. There shouldn't be any here, right? Because I know that they're deadly. That was crazy. I think, yeah, this brim is obviously ready to go. There she goes, there she goes. 
Yes! There she goes! Yes! Yes! Guys, yes! <laughs> That's made my night. Camera lens is all dirty. I'm gonna just take this moment to explain what I was doing, what gear I was using, the lures that I was using. So as you guys know, I've been using a six to eight pound rod, seven foot. I've got a 2000 size Daiwa with um, 10 pound braid, which is about 0.6 PE, right? So it's very thin and six pound liter. Now, on the end of the rod, if I can just see it, it's, in the, it's on the ground somewhere. Let me just find that for you. So there we are, that's the lure Z-Man Slim Swims. It's about three inch in the bloodworm color, one sixteenth ounce jig head with a size two hook. Now let's talk uh, techniques. So for that technique, you guys have seen it many times on my channel or my other videos. I just do little twitches and I feel for that, that bite. It wasn't a big bite, I think from memory. I mean, I have to go back over the footage. It wasn't a big smash. It wasn't a pick up and carry. It was just a little flick of the line. And then when I struck, I knew straight away that it was, a, it was a good fish and my heart rate started going up. It started behaving really strangely. Now, Big Brim do that. Um, it wasn't doing very much, right? It was just planing around left and right. That's what 40 centimeter plus Brim do. So they don't, they don't always, like the best thing I can tell you is from my experiences, they don't smash the lure. They don't hit it very hard most of the time. It's just like a little pick. They pick at the lure, little flick of the line, Sometimes you get a few flicks before you get the get the solid hit and then you strike and you load up into it But when they run they run straight and they run hard and you don't really feel too many kicks or head shakes in between um, In between the runs. I'm gonna wrap up the session now. I, I can't describe it. It's just um, it, it's, it's a capture that it's gonna live in my memory You know forever and I hope you guys uh, really enjoyed watching this video because it was something special today Thanks for all your support as always, and I'll catch you in the next video.